hey what's up you guys and welcome back to my channel so in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you how i clean my microfiber sectional i know it's no makeup today guys just strictly a cleaning motivational video so for my helper today it's none other than my sweet dog brooklyn she is always on the scene and yeah, so we're gonna get started with cleaning this couch. I wanted to show you the couch before we clean it. Not heavily soiled at all. I take pretty good care of it. Um, I do have three children, so you can expect some type of stain or spot on the couch. Um, right here, I'm just showing you the back of the couch. This is basically where we may place our arms, our heads, or even like drag our hands across it as we pass by it. So when we purchased the sectional, it was treated with the fabric protectant, which makes things so easy when trying to clean it. Basically, you have to do is spray it and wipe it down. So right now, I'm just taking the pillows out, and we're just going to vacuum all the areas that need vacuuming. Of course, under the pillows, you know, kids do have crumbs. And even though my dog doesn't get on the couch, somehow her hair is on the couch. So we want to make sure that I just vacuum all of that up before I start cleaning. So to get things started, I'm just gonna spray those soiled areas with the Mrs. Myers Clean Day Multi-Surface Everyday Cleaner. I absolutely love the smell of that cleaner and it works super good. I'm also gonna be using the um, LA's Totally Awesome Carpet Spot and Stain Remover. I actually purchased that from Dollar Tree. And you guys, when I tell you this is so good, it's actually, actually an upholstery cleaner as well. And of course, you know, it only costs a dollar. And the brush that I'm using, I got from Burlington. Now it is a soft bristle brush. I didn't want to use anything too harsh because I didn't want to mess up the material. But basically what I did was spray it down. And now I'm just scrubbing those areas with water. So I'm doing the same thing to my cushions, my pillows, and I'm just doing one pillow at a time. And I don't really have too many areas, like I said, that are too soiled. So I just want to get everything, make everything look nice and clean. So I just wanted to show you how it's looking now. And to me, it looks good. I see the difference. Of course, I see the sofa every day. So I know, you know, when it's clean and when it isn't. But yeah, I'm so satisfied with it. So I'm going to go ahead and continue off camera. And then I'm going to move on to the other sofa. Um, now, this particular cushion right here was one of those cushions that we sit often in that area. So I had to go into this cushion twice um, just to get it looking back to normal so you know those high traffic areas always tend to need a little extra tender loving care so right here i'm just showing you my pillows and i have a slight um stain on the pillow it's probably something from either the kids getting on the couch without totally wiping their hands or washing their hands or it could be anything so i'm just spraying down the pillow and basically repeating the same steps as i did in the beginning of the video when I'm doing the pillows though, I am pulling the material because if I don't pull the material, it's going to wrinkle and it'll keep that wrinkle in place. And I don't want to do that because it will ruin the cushion. So now I know some of you guys are like, wait a minute, why didn't she just unzip the cushion on the pillow and put it in the washing machine? Well, when we first got this sofa, I did do that. And when you unzip it, they actually have like these um, pins inside that keep the cushion nice and sturdy and looking brand new. So I took those pins out and put them in the um, 
the, the pillowcases in the washing machine and it totally ruined the shape of the pillow. So from now on, I just go ahead and spot clean my couch myself. Um, I don't want to ruin it. I did call the company and they could replace the cushion, but it's $50 per cushion. So to avoid all of that, we're just going to go ahead and spot clean it. So if you guys take a look at the water, I actually had to change my water out three times. Um, the water did get pretty dirty, so that let me know that things were getting clean. So now I'm just cleaning my mirrors, and you guys know from a previous home video that I did that I do clean my mirrors and my glass in my house with vinegar and um, newspaper. But today I couldn't find newspaper, so we're just going to deal with paper towel. Not my favorite, but hey. I had to use what I had. So once I've done that, I'm gonna go ahead and just sweep behind the sofa that I moved. You wanna get those areas that you don't get every day. Um, I also swept the wall, you know, if things don't, if furniture isn't moved, dust will collect on the wall and on your baseboards and that's just not nice. You want everything to be nice and clean. Now I'm just going back in and I'm mopping those areas and we are gonna actually mop the entire floor. But first, we, before we do that, I'm going to move the sectional back into place. So now I'm just wiping down the television and the sound bar and I use the Mrs. Myers for that as well just making sure that there's no dust on anything. You want to make sure that your artificial plants don't have any dust on it that does not look good does not look clean so yeah now i'm just gonna mop the remainder of the floor and i also mop the um base of my fireplace because it's black i like it to be nice black and shiny and if you don't do that it will look very dusty so again i'm just putting everything back in place and putting my pillows back now this is the part that i hate because i feel like i have to I'm doing a puzzle like the cushions belong in a certain place you can't just throw them anywhere so it does take me a while to make sure that I got the right cushions in the right place but I got them the way they were supposed to be now I'm just placing my throw pillows to make everything look really nice and you'll see the living room start to come together So now I'm just placing everything back on the ottoman the way I had it. And that is a mirrored tray. It's super heavy, but it's so pretty. And I'm just placing all the things that go on top of it. My little um, candle, of course, my magazines and my remote control holder. Just making things look really pretty. And that's it, guys. Thank you so, so much for watching. If you want to see more videos like this, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. And if you're looking for something to clean your sofa with, I highly recommend these products that I use. I will have them listed below. Very affordable products and they work. So that's it for this video, guys. Thank you again for watching. I love you guys so much and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.